Brothers Domestic of America's finest colleges and universities showing exactly what they learn every week on the game called College Mad Hall. This week's challengers, the Mustangs of Southern Methodist University and the Aggies of Texas A&M. And now, here's the Dean of College Madhouse, Greg Kinney! Thank you! Uh, this week and every week, our College Madhouse, of course, teams from two of America's top, finest universities and colleges compete in a battle of brains and brawn, featuring some fairly outrageous stunts. I think you'll agree. We've got some tough questions for them also. At the end of the game, the winning team gets to run through this fascinating college madhouse located right behind me, win some prizes for themselves, as well as some scholarship money for their individual schools. And right now, here to introduce today's teams, the oh-so-subtle Bo Weaver. First direct from Dallas, Texas, here comes the team from Southern Methodist University, Go Mustang! Hi, my name is Tom Troutman. I'm the, I'm the uh, captain for SMU. I'm a junior Lambda Chi at SMU, majoring in Russian Area Studies and Political Science. Hi, my name is Brady Lane. I'm a sophomore Chi Delta. I'm a foreign language major at Southern Methodist. Yeah. Hi, I'm Marion Bowers. I'll graduate this year from SMU with a degree in philosophy. Yeah. Hi, I'm Mark Singer. I'm a major in Political Science, minor in Business. And say hi to all my friends out there. Go Mustang! Yeah. Coach of SMU over here. That's Tom. But who is the opposition today? Next, from College Station, Texas, we have SMU's arch rival. Here comes the mighty Aggies from Texas A&M. Howdy, I'm Jimmy Martin. I'm the team captain for Texas A&M today, and I'm a senior industrial distribution major in an SAE. Howdy, I'm Dana Nedley, and I'm a sophomore journalism major and trial at A&M. Howdy, my name's Brad Batson, a senior econ major, and go Aggies! The Aggies. Well, here is one of the more electrifying moments in College Madhouse when we bring on the lovely Donna Wilson, Richard McGregor, right back here. I told you. Well, in this first part of the game, our teams are going to earn points by competing in some fairly outrageous stunts, answering some questions. We're going to get started with the game right now. We need two players from each team. Let's over here. Let's go. Oh, I did not come up with this next one, but uh, the producers have come up with a uh, cuddly, sort of nauseatingly cute, kinky, if you will, kind of stunt. We call it the Velcro nuzzle. Thank you. Uh, girls, you're going to be wearing these uh, Velcro masks. You can go ahead and put those on. When I say go, you're going to Put your face in this uh, bin of Nerf balls down here in front. Uh, you're going to collect as many as you can on your Velcro mask, all right, my dear? Thank you. Then you're going to go over against the guys, nuzzle up against him, and stick the ball right onto that. Excuse me. Just for the demonstration's sake, right onto his chest there. Thank you. Uh, rubbing off all the balls onto his shirt, you're going to keep picking him up and rubbing him off as fast as you can because the guys who have the most balls on their chest after 45 humiliating seconds picks up 25 points. Y'all set? Go ahead and get in position there. And set the clock. Go! for the yeah, Texas five. five over here for Texas A&M and over here for the Mustangs. Six, six of them. Oh, yeah. Nice job. Yeah. You guys can just start. We're going to give you some points right now. Okay. So the Stangs pick up 25 points there. We go on to our next question. In that last stunt, the girls wore masks. Which of these horror figures also wore a mask? 
the hunchback of Notre Dame, the creature from the Black Lagoon, or the Phantom of the Opera? Yeah, SMU. Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, that's right. 25. 50 points for SMU, Texas A&M. You got zero. We'll come back in just a moment to give you a chance to tie it up. We'll be back poolside in just a moment. This is an apple, and this is an apple. The difference between the servants that every woman thinks she deserves. Guys, you in our pool are going to be our college madhouse pool boys. It's not the Beverly Hills Hotel, but it's going to have to do. It's your job to keep these young ladies as happy as possible at all times. Uh, the girls are relaxing, obviously, in these beach chairs here. When I say go, I need you to pick the girls up, set them down in the pool. Girls, you're going to reach behind you, grab you a cold drink right over here. Hold it up right there. Got a nice shot of it. Thank you. Uh, guys are going to carry you over here to the far side of the pool. You're going to pour it into the, the pitcher into your team's pool side table, which Donna is demonstrating so eloquently. Uh, keep going back and forth, grabbing and dumping as fast as you can the team with most liquid in there. Drinks after 30 seconds. Wins the stunt. You all set? Yeah. Yeah. Let's set the clock. Go! clear to me. This is the Aggies over here, the SMU Mustangs, no question about it. The Aggies pick up that stunt. Nice going. Let's go down here and give you guys the points right now. So, the Aggies, nice job there. Picked up uh, 25 points. That last stunt was played in the water. Which of these adventure movies takes place almost entirely underwater? Aliens, The Abyss, yeah, A&M. The Abyss. That's right. Yeah! You guys tie it up there with 50 points for the Aggies, 50 points for the Mustangs. As we move on to our next round, we need two players from each team right over here. Okay, we finally found something, something useful to do with this uh, sort of disgusting, rubbery, plastic food that's been sitting around the studio for years now. A new event called the uh, College Madhouse Fake Food Fight. Yeah. Rather cleverly titled, don't you think? Uh, here's how it works. You see this giant dish here. It's filled with uh, all sorts of fake food floating around this gravy. We got carrots and peas, everything else. Girls, when I say go, you're going to stand opposite each other, pick up some food, and throw it into your opponent's goal. That's simple enough, right? right. No question about it. Guys, you're going to be the goal. Is your job is to block your goal at all times and block your opponent's shots. Team that gets the most food in their uh, little uh, goals picks up 30, 25 points. We're going to set the clock now for 30 seconds. Get in place. I'm getting out of here. Let's go. Okay, well, we got, uh, let's add them up over here. Let's see how many Aggies, uh, how many did they score in there? And the Aggies go, we have one for the Aggies. Not too good, Donna. How many did SMU score? One and two. Stangs win it. So, SMU picks up another 25 points there. Nicely done. Let's go on with our next question here. God, it got a little messy over there, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Some of the foods we used in that stunt were fake beans. Which of the following real beans grows on a tree? String beans, coffee beans, or lima beans? A&M. Coffee beans. Yeah, that's right. Yeah! For 25. And that is 75 for the Mustang, 75 for the Aggies. That's the end of our stunt round. That means it is time for the College Madhouse Finals. Still anybody's game. Stay tuned. We'll be back after this. Come here. Don't give it to him. Damn. Today's 
Boys College Madhouse Finals. A minute and 30 seconds, or 90 seconds of lightning action and some pretty challenging questions at stake. A crack at all the cash and prizes in the College Madhouse right back here. Here's how it works. Our teams are going to line up facing each other. In fact, let's not waste any time. You guys go ahead and step up here. First players in line, I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to race, obviously, to hit the signal, come up with the right answer. And we'll give you 25 points, and you get the opportunity to nail your opponent with a pie today. It looks like a chocolate pie, and my producer insisted I point this out because they've done such an eloquent job designing those. When I say next, you two are going to go to the back of the line. The next two are going to step in, and we'll continue like that till a minute and 30 seconds is up. And we're going to find out who's going to the college madhouse, depending on the score. So far, it's 75-75. I'd say it's a pretty close game. It can't get any closer, so 25 points a question. It's uh, going to be a good one. Category is mothers and fathers. You guys all set? Bitch. Set the clock, please. And Cain and Abel were the sons of the Bible's first father. Name him. SMU. Yeah. Next up, this current TV mom has the mo one of the most industry's highest rated sitcom. Yes, SMU. Yeah. Next up. Like a wild, crazy guy, he starred in the movie Parenthood, although he himself. Yeah, SMU. Yeah. Up here, she touches every kid's childhood through her timeless nursery rhymes. Yes, SMU. Another dude. Yeah, 25 points. Next up, her, her son's real name is Theodore on what? Yes. Yeah, there you go. Next up, 25. Only this Vatican resident may be addressed with the whole. Yes, SMU. Yes. 25 points. Next up, this TV mom named Carol took care of Greg, Marsha, Peter, Jan, SMU. On the Brady Bunch? Yeah, that's right. For 25 points, the next one. I'll finish the question. Emilio Estevez and Charlie Sheen both took to this looked to this man for their fatherly advice. Who is their movie star? Dad, Jimmy. Um. Ah, it's time. To the back, we're looking for Martin Sheen. I don't know about you. According to the rhyme, she discovered that the cupboard was bare. And so, yes, that's... Oh, mother, mother. Yes, he said so calmly. Back of the line, author of the book, Fatherhood, this man... Yes, Sesame. Yes, that's... Close. In history books, he is called the father of our country. Name this early SMU. Yes, that's right. For 25 points. Oh, that was nice of her. Holy smokes. It's getting ugly. It's getting out of control. Well, there's no question about it. SMU wins this fairly, fairly decisively. And um, you guys played a great game. No question about it. To make this school even more proud of you, we got some nice prizes. Tell them about both. All contestants receive British Knights. Get off on the right foot. Get off in BK's British Knights Athletic Footwear for guys, gals, and kids, too. British Knights, the right bow for you. And this is sorted merchandise. Katano invites your family to get to know the Katano family of products. Katano sportswear in misses and women's sizes. Everything from traditionally basic to basically untraditional. Katano, the spirit of the family. And you guys a great game. Thanks, Katano. And you look good. Okay, Mustangs, this is your chance to run through the College Madhouse right back here. Capture $1,000 for the uh, SMU Scholarship Fund and some great prizes for yourselves. As a matter of fact, Bo right now is going to tell you about those prizes in the Madhouse. Take a spin into the Madhouse by racing over the Rainbow Bridge. Then climb aboard the Cannibal Cruise and reach up to the paddle wheel and grab a cash tag. Next, climb these cargo crates up to the dining deck and dive into the human stew pot to win this camping gear. Academy Broadway products designed for camping outdoor fun. Featuring this machine washable water repellent nylon sleeping bag and heavy-duty nylon travel bag. Furnished by Academy Broadway. And the Sonics portable AM FM stereo radio cassette player. It features auto reverse and 30 watts of music power furnished by the Sonic. Careful when you cross Hurricane Alley. Then grab a cash tag on the soda can before plunging down to the whitewater slot. As you hit the pool, grab the tag to win. Set in a water sports bump on ride. Boat tube, surf tube, river tube, and snow tube. Enjoy maximum year-round sport excitement furnished by Set in a water sports. And 
And Armatron watches for superb quality design and value. H2O will watch by Armatron, the hot fashion look for your wrist. Or you could race through the Zapateria, where one of your opponents is waiting to give you a cash tag and zap you with a face full of whipped cream. Next, race up to the rocket ship. Climb inside, pull the lever, and blast off to win cash for your school. Plus, you could try to get past the roommate from hell and grab the tag for these home videos. NTI Home Video, the Honeymooners Lost episodes, specially restored after discovering Gleason's personal vaults, a cultural treasure furnished by N. Plus, this Codafone Model 1650 answering system features a sleek, slimline telephone remote features and easy one-touch operation furnished by Codafone. All of these prizes for you, plus cash tags everywhere. In the fridge and tumbling in the campus grill. All totaling $1,000 for your college scholarship fund. All in today's money. Up. First of all, who is going first into the college Brandy. madhouse there? Brandy, you are going first. Okay, when I say go, you are going to rip into the college madhouse, grab all the prize and cash tags that you can, and uh, after 30 seconds, you're going to hear this sound. I'm sorry to say. you got to stop grabbing tags at that point because player two, who's going second? Me. Tom, you're next. You'll be running through the uh, house to grab all the cash and prize tags that you can. We're going to keep on like that until all four of you have had a chance in the college madhouse. Then, if you do, in fact, clean house, capture all 13 prize tags, we're going to send you on a pretty nice, incredible trip, as a matter of fact. So, you'll be going on a New England ski trip and staying at Waterville Valley Resort, nestled in New Hampshire's White Mountain National Forest. Offers luxury accommodations, skiing, old-fashioned sleigh rides, rental car, and much more. New England hospitality at its best, furnished by Waterville Valley Resort. Now we're going to go ahead and get in position over here. Now, because there are 13 tags in the college madhouse, we'll go ahead and set that, that patented 13 tag counter. And uh, if we could, go ahead and set the clock. Brandy, you all set for this? Exactly. Ready to go? Ready. All right, then. Go! Let's go, Brandy. 30 seconds. You didn't get all the uh, tags in the madhouse, but you did manage to get uh, a couple of prizes here. You got $900 for your scholarship fund. You got, uh, what are these uh, things? Oh, the camping gear and the uh, cassette recorder. A 
home videos and answering machine. What more could you ask for? Uh, we're going to go ahead and bring up our runner-up team right now, the Texas A&M Aggies. Good game, you guys. Next week, this will take place on College Madhouse. On the next College Madhouse, the Golden Gophers of Minnesota battle it out with the Badgers of Wisconsin. Oh, it's no Badgers. No Badgers. It's Class A competition, and these students throw it all on the line with loads of dirty laundry. A little pool action has them grabbing for all they can get, and the fun's not over yet. They're going for the big G's. Minnesota versus Wisconsin on TV's wildest show, College Madhouse. Accommodations furnished by the Beverly Garland Hotel. Distribute.